This is the quick start video for the LED lighting controller version 5. And I have both versions uh, here. <clears throat> uh, this is the uh, blue background with white lettering version. And we have a second version display, which is uh, kind of a grayish light background with uh, darker letters. And so we're going to be using this one today. Uh, there are three pieces of paper that come with the, the device. Uh, if you master these three, you don't need to read the manual. Isn't that nice? So the first one is a picture of the controller with the indications of what the buttons on the front do. So uh, you can see there's a match. They do look the same. So on the left-hand side, the two bl buttons, blue buttons, are for moving between the ports. There are 16 ports on the controller, uh, 12 JST connections across the top or the back, and four on the side. And what we're going to do is use these test uh, boards, which have LEDs on them, and this little contraption will plug into the back. And as you can see, I've configured one of the ports already. We'll show you how to do that. Um, and then I'm going to insert this one over on the side so we can get access to all 12. So as it shows, the left-hand side, blue, two blue buttons are for the port. And the display says port 2, port 1, port 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And so you just push this button to get to the output port that you want to configure. That's not difficult. It goes up and down, backwards and forwards, and that's all there is to it. On the right-hand side uh, is for changing the value for what you happen to be doing with that port. So on port 1, the first thing that comes up is the mode. This is the animation behavior. It happens to be set in the blink mode. If I move the blue buttons up and down, down to uh, 1 is always on, 0 is off, so if I use that uh, save button, that's the yellow button, and then I push this into animation mode, it's off. All right, so animation mode, this green button, switches between animation and configuring uh, the, the device. So right now it's in animation mode, but I don't have any of the ports configured to do anything. If I push the button again, now we're in configuration mode and the port to be configured will be lit. And that's the same as if you put uh, plug in your own LEDs and they're out on the layout, whatever port you're configuring will be lit up. All right, so we've got this green button switching between animation mode and configuration. We've got the blue buttons on the left for port up and port down. And we've got the blue buttons on the right for scrolling through values. Uh, sometimes there are words and sometimes there are numbers. Uh, the yellow button is save. Okay, so safe, save. And the white button is for uh, changing what is going on on the device for configuration. So the first one is behavior. If I push the white button once, it switches to the LED output mode. And that's an indication of the brightness. So I can lower the brightness all the way down to off and back to 100. That's 100% hundred bright brightness um, all the way through. So, and if I want to save that at 7, I just press the Save button. So that's, that's output. The next one is what we call Configuration Variables Config Mode. So uh, we'll talk about that more in a minute, but just uh, notice that you would switch there. Uh, port trigger. So all 16 ports can be individually triggered. Uh, there's a USB port over here, and we have a, a hub that you can plug into that, a sensor hub, and you can trigger on any of the ports. There's a separate video for setting up triggers. The next one is the DCC mode. All the controllers have a built-in DCC decoder. You don't have to use it. It's there if you need it. And these two, this little plug here, two wires, is for plugging in your DCC. And on the main unit, the, only the DC signal comes in here. There's no power pulled from DCC. So you can connect it up uh, to your main line with no trouble, and you can control 
all of the, the functions uh, via the, the controller. And it switches. Uh, okay, so now the next one is reset. If you want to reset it, you press the save button and you hold it. And you'll notice in a second it's counting down. I'm not going to let it go to zero. I'm just going to release it. And it says reset aborted. Okay, I'm going to push the white button again and we're back to port. So these menus using this white button are just in a loop. All right, so I showed you a second ago the uh, this screen that this is in your book. This comes with your unit. So if you're ever confused about what's going on, the ports, the on and off, configure, menu, save, you'll just keep this handy. All right. After you use the device for a couple of minutes, you won't need that. The next thing is you're, there are two sheets with lots of numbers on them and a chart. All right. So let me step you through this. First of all, there's a list of global variables. We're going to call them CVs from now on. So those CVs are configuration variables. There are some that when you set them affect the entire device. That's what we call global. So for example, uh, the, uh, let's, let's pick one here, uh, the random delay. So there's a random option. How quickly the random function functions on all 16 pins is set by this random delay. All right, the flicker random time, uh, there's a step delay. These are all names of behaviors, and these set the behavior characteristic for all of the pins that happen to be set to that behavior. So whether it's flash, here's one that's pretty straightforward, lightning delay. So if you set the, the, a port to lightning, and we'll do that a little bit later, and you want a de longer delay between flashes, let's say a couple of minutes worth, then you set the, de lightning, the lightning delay, and that means that any port that is set to lightning will delay by this extra amount of time, and it's really in two minute increments. So you can delay up to an additional eight minutes uh, past what the standard setting is. You won't use this very often. You'll set it and forget it, um, and, um, uh, but just know that it's here. Uh, different things here, fade speed, random delay, we talked about that. Uh, step delay, uh, and there's some other features. So in the advanced course, we'll talk more about uh, setting these configuration variables, but know that they're there and they're one-time uh, setups, and they affect all ports evenly. This chart is called the port configuration variable address mode, and what this does is allow you to set more precise characteristics for each of the ports and it depends what you're trying to do, which row. So these numbers here, so there's 16 ports, and these numbers are simply the, the slot or the, the memory location in the device that you change. You change its value, it could be a five, and you want to make it a six, and this tells you where it is, and then this tells you what value you can put in there. So the light level that we just talked about a minute, uh, a minute ago, is in the, CV range of 128 to 143. So if we want to change the val the brightness of LED 1, the port on 1, we can use the manual mode like we did here a minute ago, or we can go into find CV 128 and change that value directly. And we'll do that once so you get the idea. So if you master these two pieces of paper, you don't have to open the book. And since you have this in the referenceable form uh, and just have it handy, this will make it easy for you, all right? So uh, the light level or amount of brightness, which animation mode, is it blinking, flashing? Uh, time on and time off, that's used in a couple of different ways, but in the example that we'll use today, in the blink mode, um, how fast it's, the light is blinking whether it stays on for a short time or a long time, and whether it stays off for a short time or a long time. And you can individually set that value for each one of the 16 ports, okay? Uh, there's a timer function, uh, trigger port assignments, so uh, that's available through the menu, or you can manually set it through the CVs. Uh, there's a trigger timeout that you can only set through the CVs, and then beacon speed also. So we have a rotating beacon simulation, and if you wanted the beacon to go faster or slower, uh, you would go to the port that it's assigned and change it. And one of the uh, things that happened, we in an earlier version, a customer set 
uh, his rotating beacon on top of some radio towers. And they were all rotating at the same time. And he said, well, that's not realistic because in real life, if you have two or three radio towers and they're blinking, um, they're a little bit off from each other. And so how do you fix that? Well, if it's blinking, of course, you can change it up here, make them one number different so that the blinking sequence is slightly off. You can do the same thing with beacon speed. All right, on the bottom of this chart is the a list of all of the different behaviors that are possible for any given port. So disabled or off is the first one, always on, flicker, blink, beacon, fade. Fade is used for timing, a uh, timer. So if we have street lights, for example, uh, you can have them fade on, stay on for a while, and then fade off. You can simulate you know, a day's activity that way. Uh, random, uh, we use the random function in uh, building lighting so that the lights in different rooms go on and off at different times. Uh, step function, uh, what a step would look like is the racing lights uh, for an airport approach. Uh, you can have chase or racing style uh, on that, that's in the advanced video. Uh, flashing will be alternate flashing like a railroad crossing. You put two ports uh, and they'll alternate flash. And then uh, TV simulation, uh, you can use our RGB uh, light for that. Mars is almost like Beacon, except uh, it's, it goes bright, but not blink. It goes bright, down, flash, down, bright, flash, down. Bright. And then we have a whole series of arc welding and lightning. And so uh, why there are so many of both of these, uh, so first of all, arc welding, you can imagine just the arc welding uh, simulator. We have three at, at, that have different speeds. And so what people do is they'll use the arc welding light and, and have an orange light and a yellow light and maybe a white light, and that will sim simulate a flickering fire. And so uh, either in a building or like campfire, a lot of different ways you can mix and match arc welding. Lightning is very similar to arc welding, except uh, it's a more intense burst of light followed by a longer delay. Uh, so it wouldn't be kind of a flickering type of, of thing. And then we, uh, we do have some ideas for some other behaviors and we've left open some slots there. So um, that's the chart. Uh, it, there's a link at the bottom of this video. And also if you go to our documentations page, all three of these uh, documents are there. All right, so that's an introduction. Uh, let's look at the device and what we're gonna do, um, let me just turn it off and turn it back on. So this is the steady state uh, that you would find it. You just turn the power on, you've inserted the test uh, LED boards, the name comes up. And then after a couple of seconds of, of starting up and loading uh, the data from its internal memory, it goes into animation mode. Well, there's nothing set up, so it's just gonna be quiet. All right, so we wanna go into configuration mode. That starts at port one. Remember, we could go up different ports. Let's configure port one, and it's in the off position. Let's go up a couple and set it to blink. Remember, yellow is save. And that's done. And all we have to do is put it back into animation mode and that light will blink. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's add a few more here. Let's go down a couple so you can see the effect. Let's go to the uh, flash. All right, so that's the railroad crossing flasher. And we save that. And now what we do is on either side, so you have to have two adjacent ports to make this work because they alternate between the two. You can have them spread around if you like, but at least two alternating ones. And so we're gonna change, uh, we've already changed port four. Port five will set to flash and save that. And now put it into mode and you can see we have a uh, alternate flashing there. All right, so now we're gonna change uh, this flashing and I'm going to make it go faster. Uh, actually, first what I'm going to do is turn the blink off so we don't have that as a distraction while we're doing other things. So I go back here, put it into mode zero and just save it and you'll see, okay, now we just got this one. All right, so that's pretty simple. Uh, if you understand that, you can go through and change any port to any one of the behaviors, okay? 
and it will immediately start uh, that behavior. So let's do one more here. Let's, we've got Mars. Just uh, I described it, but let's, uh, let's show it here. Turn it on one. And now you can see it goes down, up, down, flash, down, up, down, flash, and so forth. So it's really that simple. Okay, so let's go and turn this off. Save it. Okay, now what I want to do is speed up the, the, the flashing. All right, it's going ding, 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 ding. But let's say I want it to go ding, 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 that, you know, that speed. All right, so that's a flash alternating pins speed. And if I want to change that, I have to go to CV124 and it changes, it can make it any value up to 255. So it changes in, in milliseconds. It's set at uh, five right now, uh, or at the minimum is five. So the way we do that is we go into configuration mode and we go to the place where we can do CV configurations directly. So that variable was 124. So I'm going to go, and it says location here, I'm gonna go down and just gonna hold the button this time and I overshot it, so I'm just gonna go up a few, 24. And now I can see that the value for 124, the speed by default, is 50. Well, I wanna make it go faster, so that means I want a shorter time between it. So this is the amount of time between fl uh, alternate flashes. So I, if I make the number smaller, the light will flash faster. So let's go, let's do it in half, go down to 25. All right, you can make it anything you want and save. Okay, and now let's turn it on. Now you can see that the alternate flashing is going much faster. All right, so that's an example of changing a CV. Okay, so now let's turn the flashing mode off there. Well, let's just go to, to blink. Let's set this back to blink. I'm gonna save it, okay. And you can see it's blinking. So now imagine we have all of these uh, ports doing something different, all uh, configured. And in fact, including the ability to do triggers, uh, change the brightness, the animations, then the timing, there are more than 5 million combinations uh, that you can set any given controller. So this can, controller can be set at one set of combinations and the next one. So you have to have 5 million devices to capture all of the different combinations. But as you see, it's quite simple. And that math is really because every value you can, in many of the uh, configurations, you can change from anywhere from zero to 255. So uh, that, that's all included in that math. All right, so this is blinking uh, pretty evenly. Bink, bink, bink. All right, so what I wanted to do is do a little bit more of a pulse with a longer off period. Okay, so that's a little, so we're gonna go to the specific port configuration chart and we're gonna look at time on and time off. And so the two configuration variable locations that I need to change are 160 for the time on and 176 for the time off. All right, so go over here, turn it into configuration mode, move to this, okay, so the first one was 160 so we're gonna go up to 160, and it's set to 10. So I want it to be a very short pulse, so I'm gonna reduce this down to three, all right? So that's gonna mean the light's gonna be on a very short period of time. Now the second value for time off was uh, location 176, all right? So we're gonna go up to 176, and you can see the value is the same. So uh, value of 10, so we want this to be longer so that we get that kind of pulsing. Uh, uh, so let's stop it at, uh, let's say, let's do it at 50. All right, and save that. Okay, now we'll put it into animation mode and now you can see we've got a blip type of sound. So we made the on time shorter and the off time longer to get this kind of effect, all right? That's uh, as much as we're gonna do today, that's the startup uh, of the LED Lighting Controller 5. And like I said before, if you can master uh, locating the, the configuration variable and changing the port, uh, you've mastered the device.